Hey everyone, Chad here with Digging History, and welcome to this week's episode. Um, I am back out at the hayfields today. Um, it's an overcast day. We had a little bit of rain um, the last couple days, which we have desperately needed. So I thought, great time to get back out here. Uh, these front fields have just been freshly cut and baled, so uh, we can get nice and low to the ground. And I brought a special guest with me, and I don't know if you can see her, but way, way, way out there on the other side of the field uh, is my daughter, Ella. And she is out with me today. She is swinging the Xterra Pro. So hoping for some good stuff today. Um, again, we've hunted this place a lot, so I'm not really sure how many signals we're really going to get over. But we're hoping for some luck, hoping to get her over something cool today as well. So we will see you guys on the first find. So you see that midget right there? That one's mine. Uh, she's actually out hunting me today. We are out here at the hayfields. Um, thought it'd be a fun day to come. Daddy-daughter day. Come poke around in the hayfields. Um, she's using my Xterra Pro, and so far she's out hunting me. She's found a few different iron things. And now check this out. You know what, I think that is like a, off like an old bean pot or something. Like that's like one of the side handles. Like that's really cool. And I know she's got a, other couple big pieces yeah. as well that might go along with this um, compared to the two square nails that I have found so far. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, let's keep going. Well, you guys know we've panned this place a ton, so signals are definitely hard to come by, but got one down here. Um, it was kind of a jumpy signal um, in the low to mid-20s and stuff like that, and I just pulled out this, um, and it looks like it's almost like a, a keyhole, like just basically like the outline of a keyhole. I found one of these before here. Um, I'm guessing that's what this is. I'm not 100% sure, but... Uh, um, if you guys know what this might be, um, I'd love to hear it. You can put some down in the comments. But uh, for now, I'm just going for another one of those uh, kind of like, I guess, uh, a keyhole cover outline, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully, there's some more stuff here. Well, guys, I think I did it again. This place, um, I've pulled more coppers out of this place than any other place that we have detected. Uh, this was not a great signal. Um, I, I could only catch it maybe two ways, and uh, so I got down here, dug a deep plug, it was further down, popped it, it just rolled over. I just I, I just called uh, my daughter over because I wanted her to see this and stuff, but I, I'm pretty sure this has got to be like number 14 or 15 that I have pulled out of this place, so I'm actually going to hand her the camera uh, so she can record and stuff, but I'm pretty sure I got a copper down here. Look right here. See it right there in the hole? Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. I'm actually gonna we snap a picture. How do you snap a picture when it's recording? That would stop it. There we go. I think that did it. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that's a copper. That is a copper coin now. Oh. Nice. Um, let me. I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up, guys, and then we'll be right back with you. Okay. All right. Well, there she is, cleaned up, and it is. You can see there. It's an 1818. It's a matron or coronet head, however you want to call it. Uh, U.S. large scent. Uh, back is a little toasty, and you can't really see the wreath with the one scent. But Lady Liberty is coming through, and we definitely have a date. So, man, that is awesome. Like I said, this is like probably copper 14 or 15 that I have pulled out of this field. So, awesome. We're going to keep going, and uh, hopefully there's some more stuff here. So, I had a kind of a crazy... Uh, it was really jumpy. It wasn't great, but again... There's not a ton of signals here because we, it, we've just pounded this place. So I'm kind of digging anything that repeats, at least in two different directions. Um, but anyways, I got a hit down here. was bouncing all over the place, and I just pulled this in. I'm not 100% certain, but, like, it's almost, like, it's it's really fragile. So I don't know if this is, like, a pewter or what it is, but obviously there's iron there, too. You can see it. I don't know if this is, like, an old button um, or just maybe just an old nail or something. Not 100% certain, but either way, I'm going to put it in the bag because it's 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 cool looking. Um, and we'll keep hunting. I'm, I'm trying to get over a signal, a good signal. If there is one to be out here, um, in hopes that it'll be a button or something so my daughter can dig it. Um, just to see her excitement with that. So, all right, I'm going to keep swinging and uh, wish me luck. Hopefully we get over something. All right, guys, I came across a signal here and uh, it was hitting kind of mid to upper 20s for me. Um, it was in the 80s, low to mid 80s on the Equin on the Xterra Pro. So I'm letting the kiddo dig it, 
see what it is. Told her even if it's a corotal belt, she gets to keep it, so. Digging an awfully big hole there, kiddo. Love you too. <laughs> All right, flip that plug over. All right, let's see. Get your pin pointer out. Mm. Let me see. Where's it at? Did you go deep enough? Oh, is it in there? Um, all right, hang on. We're gonna try to find this. We'll be right back with you guys. So we finally found the signal. Check it out. Pretty sure that's a little silver coin. Um, I'm not sure what though. So it might be a trime. Let me get some water out here. I've never pulled silver out of this front field, ever. Actually, I've never pulled silver out of this site. The other guys have. I am not sure what this is, though. I don't see any. I don't know, there's something there. Um, holy crap, I don't know. Can I see? It looks like there's a bust right there. If you look, you can kind of see Kind of looks like a bust, a little bit. Um, get out of fly. Um, let, let's try to clean this up a little bit better, and uh, I'm gonna try to do some zoom and see what I can see, and then we'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. Uh, so crazy. Hi. L, we got an ID. Yes. Do you want to tell people what it is? It is a Spanish half real. It is a Spanish half real. Um, it was, you could see we had a heck of a time finding this tiny little thing, but what you, oop, focus, what you could see is there's the back of Carlos, the bust um, on it, and it is pretty smooth, and obviously uh, it's tacoed, but that is a Spanish half real. Hey, you got silver. Yes. Pound it, kid. Yes. Nice job. All right, we're going to keep hunting. I'm hoping there is some more stuff here. All right, well, this hit was um, kind of bouncy. Oop, gonna get loud here a second. We got uh, some emergency vehicles passing by, but um, I think it's part of a button. And it actually looks like the hole pushed all the way through, but I think it was part of an old button, and then maybe they uh, pushed a hole through it for whatever reason, but cool. All right, I'll take that. That's old stuff. All right, before the sirens get too loud, let's go. Hopefully there's more, some more stuff here. Okay, so I got a nice little 2122 signal. Um, and where'd it go? It's right down in here somewhere. Uh, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is, right there. Looks like it's a little bouton. Yep. Looks like the shank might be either bent over or broken off there. But nice little flat button. Doesn't look like there's anything on it, um, but that's cool. There's another button saved out of this field. I'll take that. Like I said, there's just not a lot of signals left in this field anymore, so uh, anytime you can get over something that sounds pure like that, I mean, you're definitely digging it. So cool. All right. Another nice little button. All right, let's keep going. There's Elle. She's tired. Tired? Done a lot of hunting today, girl. For your first time out, really. Um, so we're making the last couple lines out of here, um, kind of up by where we found the uh, half real. Anyway, I had a little signal down here and a uh, little pistol shot. Musket ball. That's cool. I'll take that. Nice little relic. A little smashed. Obviously impacted, but cool. All right. Uh, I think we're going to go up just over the crest of that hill right there. Um, and then we're going to be done. So... All right, we'll see you guys uh, if we get anything else. Well, I just had a solid 24 signal right there, and that's what I got. I have no idea what that is. 
broken off something. Um, but man, it was screaming. Um, Ella's working on a signal over here too that was like 24, 25, at least what I was getting on the Equinox. Um, I'm gonna see if I, let me see if we can help find this thing here for her. You're back here. Right. So, back there a little bit. Keep getting treated by rocks. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks in this field. Um, let's see here. Oops. Still in there. It's right there, whatever it is. Oop. It is that. Um, is that a rivet? No, it's a, look at that. That's cool. Look at it. It's a drawer pull. Oh. So that would have been, yeah. That's a cool little find there, kiddo. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Hey. Hi. That's like one of like, that's like your first like, you know, non piece of like iron <laughs> stove pot. Yeah, that kind of stuff. That's a nicer little relic though. Cause that, you know, that came from a house. Um, a piece of furniture, yeah. So most likely there was a house somewhere in this area. So, hey man, good job. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so Ella and I are swinging on our way out of here, um, heading back towards the car, and I got a little bouncy little hit, and I just plucked that out. I don't know if you can see right there, but that is, I'm pretty sure, a little watch winding key. That's exactly what that is. Check that out. What a sweet relic. Sorry, Jeff. I know this is like Jeff's number one bucket thing. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything on it. There might be a design or something on it, but that is super cool. Nice little watch winding key. I'll take that. Awesome. All right, I'm going to keep swinging on my way out of here. Um, if we get on something, uh, we'll bring it to you. Otherwise, we will see you at the end. Well, hey, everyone. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you have fun today? I did. Awesome. Um, I loved spending the day with my girl. Um, we had a blast and you know, they always, they say, you know, never hunted out the, you know, today was proof of that. We got, you know, the largey, um, and then I got over the signal that I let you dig that yeah. ended up being the half real, um, you know, and then you got your drawer pull, I got a button that, and then there at the end, that awesome wash winding key. So overall an amazing day, had so much fun. I can't wait to do it again sometime, uh, hopefully soon. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not always already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so because all of that stuff just helps out with our analytics and it helps us to continue to grow this channel. So as always, we appreciate your support and thanks for watching. Bye.